Hi guys, welcome to A Touch of Film. I'd just like to thank all my subscribers, new subscribers, old subscribers. Thank you so much. I've just surpassed 2,000 subscribers. Uh, didn't want to make a big deal out of it, but it did really mean a lot to me. Uh, when I first started this channel, I did not think I was going to even surpass 100 subscribers. Uh, my channel's so niche. Um, I just talk about Asian movies and the weird taste of movies I like. Um, and I don't even think my reviews are as great as some of the other YouTubers. I mean, Dion, uh, that movie guy UK, uh, Josh Palmer, Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast. I think they're some of the best movie reviews. And I just love watching their reviews and I've always like aspired to be as good as them. Uh, and it just means a lot to me to even get like... 2,000 subscribers it, it it does mean a lot to me um, you know thank you so much for your continued support uh, you know it was so cool to see that like when I looked on my um, channel the other day I, I, I don't even realize it till I actually saw it and I thought whoa that's mad just like oh so cool but yeah thank you so much guys uh, now today I am doing a re review of um, a movie that was like one of my, one of the most like anticipated movies of the year, um, and rightly so. If I tell you why, um, back in 2017, a movie came out called One Cut of the Dead, directed by Shinichiro Ueda. Now this film just blew up. It was just a low budget movie that didn't have the big advertisement that, you know, Asian movies like Parasite or The Handmaiden or First Love Get, it literally just blew up through word of mouth. And as soon as like movie reviewers got hold of this, it just went big. And I was walking down like Leicester Square and uh, Soho and I'd see Fop have posters of it with the main actress coming in to do autographs uh, Prince Charles Cinema was showing it literally every day it was just absolutely mad and I think rightly so it was such a good movie it was absolutely brilliant um, and just surprised so many people a great zombie comedy movie and here we are today uh, Ueda's released um, special actors now this is a comedy type uh drama but no it's not even a drama it's just a com good old-fashioned comedy uh it stars kazuto asawa and hiroko kono um they now asawa plays this young man who's an aspiring actor uh he's you know going to all these auditions uh but however he gets quite anxious, quite flustered, and when he does get anxious and flustered, he collapses and faints. Uh, this means he can't get many roles because he's quite a nervous guy. He's he's a, a very like you know meek guy, very mellow. Uh, doesn't really say any. He won't even shout boo at anyone, considering his side job is a security guard. Now, from here he meets Kono's character who just happens to be his estranged brother who's, who tries to help him with his, uh, his uh, sort of anxiousness and nervousness by getting him a role in um, this special actor's agency. Now, this agency doesn't get you acting roles in TV, movie, cinema, no. It gets you roles working for everyday people who need an actor to play either a boyfriend or their landlady, their boss, their parents. And they're very like, it's, it's quite a crazy, funny uh, agency. But yeah, uh, Osawa's first task is to get infiltrate this cult as this young girl who... Uh, family owner hotel she's just lost her parents and the the name of the, 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 the hotel goes in the name of her oldest sister and her oldest sister has been it's been like brainwashed by this cult 
and they're just trying to they're just using her to get this hotel now i'm not really doing any spoilers here because there's more to this film than what than this synopsis um now uh this cult they're, they're pretty crazy they just follow this young boy who can't even speak um but yeah this it is it ends up being quite a funny <laughs> funny uh sort of like infiltration uh which just goes absolutely bonkers um Asa and Kano just have everything planned it is such a f fun just to watch this infiltration now uh, the movie doesn't really have any like um pizzazz or flashing lights just like how one got the dead did uh it it's just so simple um but it doesn't really need it. It, it. it just relies on great storytelling and a great story, which is just very, whilst the story is so simple, I, I think there's, there's, the way he narrates the film is so smart, um, which is very much like in the vein of One Cut of the Dead. Uh, the, the the movie is just... It, well, whilst it's so funny, it's, it's quite charming, and 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 it was it was such a delightful movie. Uh, which it, once it's finished, it makes you feel quite warm and cozy, which is a weird thing for me to say, but yeah, it's it's it it's um it's got that niceness to it. Um, now, probably some people might see that as a fault. I completely understand where you're coming from. It's it's not a perfect film. I think that sort of like um, comedy does does get tiresome in a way, but it 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 does it does do the job in a way. It, I mean, I I thought the film was funny, but there are scenes which I don't think were that funny where it was trying to be. Um, the acting though, uh, I think uh, it's got a great ensemble cast. Uh, Asawa is just gives such a subtle but perfect performance in this um which i think he does a really good job uh, same for uh hiroki K uh, kono i think he does a really good job as well playing this uh this quite wild character who's like got a lot of uh uh you know he's very you know, uh, you know he's 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 got a lot of balls and he he, he goes for it and i think he the way they bounce off each other is really good. Uh, I think the film itself, whilst I say it's not perfect, I really think it's worth watching. Um, it's no way near to the level that One Cut of the Dead was. I thought One Cut of the Dead was close to perfect as possible, considering it cost nearly next to nothing to make. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think the same goes for special actors. I don't think special actors was a very big budget movie. It really does show, but it didn't really need to because I don't think it needed anything. It didn't need great, amazing cinematography. It just needed this great cast, great story, and that was it. Because I think the the story, the the, the writing was just brilliant. Um, so yeah, definitely worth checking out. Um, if you do get a chance to watch it, please do. I know it was being shown at Fantasia Film Festival. Uh, Dion reviewed it. Uh, go to his channel and check it out. I'll, probably, I'll put a link below to check out his review. Uh, but yeah, definitely check out Special Actors if you do get a chance. I'm sure it will get a wide release just off the back of One Cut of the Dead. But yeah, uh, definitely check it out, guys. So if you've seen it or if you plan to see it, comment below. Uh, let me know what you thought of it. Or if you were a big fan of One Cut of the Dead, yes, yeah, still comment below. I mean, that film was massive. Even got like a plain archive release, which is just mental. Um, but, and it was a really good release as well. So yeah, uh, let me know hit that subscribe button click like and i will see you in the next video guys uh, i'll have some more reviews to do as well till then take it easy